Sir, the journal published my article. I've already received dozens of hollow messages from medical officers and units across the galaxy. I never expected such a positive reaction. That's fantastic news, Alara. You should feel very proud. I would never have learned so much if you hadn't brought me onto the squad. I really owe you a tremendous debt, sir. Thank you. Truly. Just got off the hollow with Torf. He asked me to thank you for getting him out of that labor camp. He's starting to see the danger the other Dead Eyes are in. Anxious for us to find them. We could use him when we rescue the rest of the Dead Eyes. SIS already has him tied up in debriefs. Pretty much exchanged one cell for another. It was a mistake to trust a snake like Zane, but Torf's heart was in the right place. I just hope this mistake doesn't get any of those men killed. Our opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. Sounds like you've got your opening. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory, ensuring freedom for generations to come. It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. You mean it was all a setup? All of the hints and clues that led me to Rebus were fabricated. It was all a scheme to capture my power core. As soon as I defeated the last of the Imperial security teams and confronted Rebus, he activated a specially built device that overloaded my primary energy controls. I was frozen. How did you manage to turn the tables on him? As Rebus and his final few guards approached, I discovered that I still had control over a handful of secondary subsystems. By manipulating those systems, I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. You actually escaped by collapsing on the guy? It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. As I'd hoped, shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. That is definitely one for the records, 4X. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. Providing you with the highest level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. And I am not just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what Xavier Juna means. Is there any way I can lend a hand? I hope you find what you're looking for. It's 
great to hear that things went well, Yoon. Everything's ready, boss. I've got Lord Albrecht's location on Alderaan and all of the files that prove the debt. I just have to walk in, show the files, act tough, and we can both become a little bit richer. Richer is always better. See you when I've got the credits. That was ridiculous. Turns out there's two Lord Albrechts. A father-son team. A crazy old man and stuck-up little punk team, really. Neither of them had a single credit, and both of them had promised to sell the guns to three different buyers apiece. How'd you deal with them? It took a lot of wrangling, but I managed to get those two saps into the same room with all of their buyers. Then I lobbed a couple of grenades in. Most of the buyers' credits were still in one piece afterward, so I'm calling it a win. Sounds like another job well done, Vic. Let's hope the next rundown isn't so tough. The stress might ruin my looks. General Garza, I hadn't expected you here. Or Agent Balker. The Senate situation is more complicated than I could explain via Hollow. I couldn't be certain my office wasn't being monitored. What I said before was accurate. The Senate has called a hearing to investigate the actions of Special Forces, Havoc Squad specifically. But what I couldn't say was that the Senator behind these proceedings is actually an undercover agent for the Empire. The entire hearing is a sham. How could the Empire possibly get an agent elected to the Senate? They didn't. They just bought someone who was already in place. We have the evidence right here. His name's Zion. He represents a tiny little rock in the middle of some very profitable trade lanes. With the help of Imperial Intelligence, Senator Zion has slowly gained influence. Now he's turning that influence against us. It's just another shot from dear old General Racton. Zion gets Havoc suspended. Rakton gets the break he needs to turn the war back his way. What's our move? Arrest Zion? Not exactly. The military doesn't have that kind of authority. And detaining Zion would only fuel his accusations that we abuse our power. I want you to attend the hearing just as the Senate has asked. We can't risk him getting away. Go and conduct yourself respectfully. When it's your turn to speak, present the evidence the SIS has gathered. The Senate will have to investigate, and we'll be free to resume operations. Do we have a backup plan in case the evidence isn't enough? The evidence is indisputable. That won't be an issue. Remember, Senator Zion will do his best to paint you as a loose cannon. Don't do anything to prove him right. I'll be waiting in my office. Report back to me as soon as the hearing is complete. Dismissed. Have fun, Major.
Welcome, Major. We appreciate you taking the time to come and respond to our concerns in person. Senator Zion, you may proceed. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Havoc Squad is widely considered to be the finest infantry team in the Republic military. Their reputation earns them a great deal of leeway, so much that they have become a danger to the Republic itself. My friends and colleagues, what is it that Havoc Squad actually does, day in and day out? Disturbingly, almost no one knows for sure. We all remember the mysterious disappearance of Havoc Squad's previous commander. No doubt, a crime was committed and covered up. And that nonsense with the so-called gauntlet superweapon. An astronomically expensive operation to destroy a science project whose danger was never substantially proven. And it was only after that reckless operation that the Empire attacked us with full force. Why wasn't the Senate consulted beforehand? I will end with this simple fact. Since the war broke out, Havoc Squad hasn't made a single trip to the front lines. If all of the Republic's battles are being won and lost without the help of our best team, then it's time we made changes. Thank you, Senator Zion. Major, if you'd like to make a response, you may begin now. The Senator speaks very persuasively, but not truthfully. I have evidence here proving that Senator Zion is a paid agent for the Sith Empire. This is outrageous. Are we really going to tolerate wild accusations like this? The commander of Havoc Squad deserves more than to be dismissed out of hand. Preposterous. I called this hearing to present facts, not paranoid delusions. The facts are right here. Give it up. Though it is highly irregular, these are dangerous times. We are in no place to ignore accusations of treason, even among our own body. Guards, seal the area and allow no one to leave until we are prepared to reconvene. Senator Zion, in light of this evidence, I must order that you be detained by the Senate Guard pending charges for high treason. But this is insane! I'm no traitor! Whatever you've seen, it must be a forgery, some kind of military conspiracy. Please accept our apologies, Major. I hope you understand that you were called here with the best of intentions. You have a duty to ensure that we're acting in the Republic's best interest. That's right. And rest assured that your tireless efforts in the Republic's defense are greatly appreciated. Given the change in circumstances brought about by new evidence, I hereby adjourn this meeting immediately. Major, you're dismissed. Major, Lieutenant Mai, I'm General Garza's new assistant. It's a real honor to meet you. I never knew General Garza even had an assistant. Yes, she told me she usually prefers not to have one, but I suppose circumstances have changed. The General had to leave to deal with an urgent situation on Corellia. If you'd like, I can connect you with her via Hollow. That'd be great, Lieutenant. One moment, please. Major, I understand our dilemma has been taken care of. Reports are already circulating about Zion's secondary income. Rackton could have buried us with this one. If the SIS hadn't come through, if you hadn't convinced the Senate to review their evidence, we would be finished. Well done. I'm just glad everything worked out. We were fortunate, there's no doubt about it. Join me on Corellia as quickly as possible. General Rackton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. 
I'll get Havoc to Corellia on the double, General. I'll give you a detailed briefing after you touch down. Garza out. General Rackton? It sounds like you better hurry, Major. Good luck. Major, I'm glad you're here. We could use a good officer. Corellia's under Imperial control. Every squad, soldier, and CO in the galaxy is fighting to get her back. We thought the Empire had taken the planet by force. Turns out, they had the Corellian Council's blessing. Why would the Corellian Council side with the Empire? Credits? Power? No more elections? Your guess is as good as mine. The Empire's taken over factories, shipyards, even local transport. The transport blockade's become the most urgent problem. The Republic's got allies all over Corellia. But without access to the rocket tram system, most of the Republic army is stuck here. You need someone skilled to regain access, I take it. We've got our hands full just holding this spaceport. It's the only pipeline to Corellia we have left. Corellia's a core world. A major industrial hub, and one of the founding members of the Republic. If we fall here, it might be for good. General Aves knows more about the tram system situation. He wants to see anyone willing to help. The General's in command. I'll follow his orders. Some special ops think the chain of command doesn't apply. Glad you're not one of them. General Aves has a command bunker here in the spaceport. I'll tell him to expect you. I was told you could use some help. Major, I was sure other objectives would keep you off the battlefield. Corporal Hartke explained we've lost access to the rocket trams, but he wasn't clear to know why. The Empire's gotten their hands on some modified neutron emitters. They're using them to wipe out anyone on board the trams. Getting access to the tram is useless if we can't ride it. The neutron emitters only affect life forms. The trams themselves are still mechanically sound. Republic has allies all over Corellia, but they're no help if we can't reach them. 
We've got to find those neutron emitters. We've received word that Corsac may have intel on the neutron emitters' location. They've carved out a safe haven in the red light sector. What does Corsac stand for? Corellian Security Force. Local law enforcement and our primary allies against the Empire. Without trams, the only way to reach the red light sector is on foot. And Imperial shock troops control what's in between. If you attack the Empire's supply camps, the shock troops will be distracted. My escort will move to meet up with Corsac as fast as we can. I've gotten pretty good at keeping the Imperials busy. That I don't doubt. You've had the ops to prove it. Once you reach the red light sector, meet me in the Gilded Descent. It's an old casino turned Corsac fortress. I'll let Corsac know we're coming. We'll be right behind you. with you when we get back to the ship.
On your feet. Welcome to the Gilded Descent. Corsac had the intel on the neutron emitters ready and waiting for us. The emitters are at Coronet Shipping. They're a major distributor of starship parts and weapons. The place is built like a fortress. Unfortunately, the Empire's using it as shock troop headquarters. That makes a straight assault impossible. Too many defenses. Can we bring those defenses down somehow? With a few months of careful planning. Maybe. But we don't have that kind of time. Nearly every place on Corellia has a back door. Corsac thinks some of the Salonian tunnels run right under Coronet shipping. The Salonians haven't dealt much with the Republic, so I sent a Corellian to do the negotiating. He should have been back by now. Who is this Corellian exactly? Can he be trusted? Cole Cantaris. A former captain in Corsac's Council Guard. The man's impulsive. But he hasn't let me down yet. Sir, Imperials attacked the rendezvous point. Captain Cantaris and the Salonian have been captured. Someone tipped off the Imperials. Do we know where they're being held? There's a captured Corsac station nearby. It would have the cell blocks and fortifications they'd need. Corsac needs to keep the red light sector secure. You've got to free Captain Cantaris and his Salonian contact. I'm on it. These Corsac stations have room for plenty more prisoners. Help them if you can. But Cantaris and his contact are your primary concern. I'll put Corsac on alert, and tell my scouts to watch for any sign of them. Get going.
Mommy Lebik Bakmanuk, Maraka Naja Ki Nam Yapam Yak. Stay safe out there. Mimad Pemin Nimak. Yobana Pihota, Mindia. I've come to get you out of here. Pueg, Imatakamu, Nakise. Tipuna puna, manchika pugnoni snimo. Just doing my duty. Tu ar ozul mul mul pelutar parta baza. O kakiza spida parupa. Gadwa shi niko higata noya. Back to the ship. Well, Cantaris, General Aves sent me to get you out of here. Just in time, too. I didn't like the looks of those Imperial interrogators. This is Goss, head of the local Salonian Sept. She can get us inside Coronet shipping. Whatever's threatening the Salonians, we can help. Go back as not eaten. Kai Oglap and Pinky soup eggs at Sakans. 
This isn't just about your sept. The Empire is a threat to the entire galaxy. I'll clear out the Imperials and help as many as I can. Can't really ask for more than that. Place looks pretty cleared out. Goss and I will get back to the Red Light Sector and meet up with General Aves. The Imperials will hit the Salonians hard once they discover our escape. You better move fast.
Yeah, that's